Hello, hipsters, flipsters, finger-popping daddies, and groovy chicks. Welcome to the Jazz Ranch. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about Horace Silver tonight and a couple of his songs I'll be playing for you and talking about his soloing and his band. You know, Horace actually came from, he was in the Hartford area. It's where I live and where I got my start in jazz. And uh, Stan Getz discovered him and his group and they brought him to New York and that uh, he eventually got with Art Blakey and then he formed his own quintet and it has the signature sound. There's nothing like the Horace Silver Quintet. It has its unique sound. And I got to hear them years ago in Harlem, actually. Went up there and he was opening up for Ray Charles and he had that great quintet with Blue Mitchell and Junior Cook. I got to hear that band and you know, in the middle of Horace's solo he'd play a funky lick and the people would start applauding. They applauded about four times in his middle of his solo for these licks. <laughs> it was a great audience. Years later, I heard him again with the Rec Brecker Brothers. He had the Brecker Brothers in his band. That was a fabulous band as well. So he's always been a big influence on me. I love his playing, his soloing. He's a great soloist. You know, as a player, he transitioned from bebop into hard bop in the 50s, and he stressed melody rather than complex harmony. He was much more into melody, and then he combined these clean and often humorous right-hand lines with darker notes and chords in an almost near perpetual left hand rumble. How about that? You know, this no, he would hit this, you know, he'd play, he hit this rumble in his left hand. It's a unique sound. It was his trademark sound, like Errol Garner or Bill Evans or Ahmed Jamal, Nack and Cole. They always had, they all had their trademark sounds. That was one of his. So I'm going to start out with Song for My Father, and then I'm going to be talking about some of his ideas, his concepts, and his soloing. Here we go.
starting out, I'm not a historian, I'm not an expert on Horace Silver, but I want to talk about some of the things that I think are central points about his playing and his, his sound, his compositions, and his, and his uh, group. First of all, he wrote for a quintet with trumpet and tenor sax and piano, bass, and drums, so that was his trademark was having that particular sound. And he was a great comper. He, he loved comping behind horns, so, and he did it so rhythmically and so distinctively that uh, that was his trademark in a lot of ways. And his solos were amazing and simple in a certain kind of respect, but also very complicated in other ways. And very listenable and remember, you, uh, shall we say memorable. You could remember his solos. They were so distinctive. Now, on Song from My Father, I'm going to show you what he did with it. And it has a lot to do with what he did with the bass line. And when he wrote a bass line, that's the way you played it. And that's the way the bass player played it. And he doubled it with the bass player. And that had to be a certain way. And it never fluctuated. Whatever he, way he wrote it, it had to be played that way every time. All through the generations of players that he, he played with. And the same thing with the melody. And I'm going to demonstrate the melody and the bass line for Song from My Father. On Song for My Father, he has this bass line. Now, this song was inspired by his Cape Verdean heritage and uh, the folk songs of that country and uh, also dedicated to his father. And it sounds like a bossa nova, but it's a little different because of the way the chord progression goes down like this. You have a minor mode and you have these dominant sevenths, dominant ninths. So it has sort of a bluesy, funky kind of sound as well. And he has, it's very rhythmic, you know, so he has this. Now, he has the melody coming in like this with the horns in unison, trumpet and the sax, tenor sax. And then there's harmony there like that, major seconds, then major seconds, then, then thirds. Now that's where he puts the chords in. So he doubles the melody with the horns through that section, and then when they go, he puts the chords in, so he's filling in that space. He's not embellishing it with a melody, but he's just putting the chords in there. He's keeping it simple, so there's a, it's kind of simple and complex at the same time. It's beautiful that way. And so like he's doubling the melody like this. in there. I think it goes actually then like and so on. Now it gets to the bridge. He's still doubling the melody. And these work, this melody works perfectly in thirds. Same bass line. Last time he goes something like this. Uh, he does that kind of thing. Now on the second chorus, he's comping. So he's, you know, he's more like. So it's always comping in a rhythmic manner. And often he starts in the low register, moves into the middle, and then goes up to the top. So he might up eventually get to the... So that creates a very strong rhythm. And the piano is always up front in the mix. So you really hear the rhythm. It comes together, and there's no quintet sound that is quite like it. It is extremely unique, extremely... Um, it has great impact in terms of its melodic features, harmonic features, and its rhythm. It's very distinctive. As an addendum, I'm going to show you an actual lick that he plays in his solo.
And here's another lick from the bridge. So you see they're very simple, they're easy to remember. Uh, they follow, one line follows the next, and they're very funky and bluesy. Signing off from the Jazz Ranch, thanks so much for joining me on this video about Horace Silver. Please write to me. I love to hear from you. Please write to me about your experiences. If you've heard Horace Silver, you've heard him play live, or you have some favorite albums of his, please write to me. Let's talk about Horace Silver. And you know, these legendary players, they make our lives better. So ne until next time, I will say, in the words of my great friend, Hermie Dressel, God rest his merry soul, swing loose. Always swing loose and stay cool. Bye-bye.